the Las Vegas Bowl. Mitsubishi Motors Las Vegas Bowl. This is 6.30 p.m. on ABC. It's from Las Vegas, obviously. It is Chris Peterson's last game. And it's against his old team. His old team. Washington against Boise State. This is a fantastic matchup that I did not think that we were going to get to see. But Washington went 7-5 and five this year. Boise State went 12-1. and one. Uh, How crazy is that? Boise State, 12-1. and one. You, If you got Memphis beat, you had a shot at going to the Cotton Bowl. That's right. And instead, you end up in the Las Vegas Bowl. Correct. So I wonder if that's like a motivation thing. If that could be an issue, I don't think it will be. But um, four of Washington's five losses this year were by six points or less. And the Washington kicker, Peyton Henry, has only missed two kicks all year. That's right. This line is three and a half right now. The total is 50. Um, Washington, of course, going to be without offensive lineman Trey Adams and tight end Hunter Bryant. They are both sitting out to prep for the NFL. I, I think that these are two coaches that know each other insanely well. And I think that they are both offensive guys. Yes. And they are going to want to show out. Like, I, I don't, I'm sure that Brian Harson would love for Chris Peterson to go out a winner. That's right. Obviously, because everybody, but that doesn't mean he's going to throw this game. No, 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 no. It, you go and look at these stats. These two teams are very, very similar. Uh, neither of them are very good at running the football, at, at least on a, a per attempt basis. Uh, Boise is number 70, or sorry, number 61. And Washington, number 76 in rushing yards per attempt. Both of them, pretty good rushing defense. Uh, neither of them real good at throwing the ball, especially Boise right now when they're on like their third-string quarterback. That's kind of an issue. I, I think this is going to be a very tight football game. Three and a half? Uh, give me those points. I'm going to take Boise plus three and a half here. I think this is a field goal game either way. If Washington wins by a field goal, which I feel like that's what they will do, um, I I think that that half point right there will save me. So I'm going to take Boise plus three and a half. I'm going over the 50. We see this game almost exactly. Wouldn't surprise me if Boise wins this game. I, I agree with you. It just absolutely would not surprise me. They are both going I, over under on trick plays. In this game, oh, it'll be crazy. I, I'm gonna bet Peterson's gonna say, "I'm, I'm, I'm, we're moving on. I'm, I'm at least not coaching next year, and I'm gonna empty the playbook. I've got yeah. things that I've drawn up that we've never done, and I think it's gonna be a lot of fun to watch. But I, I also think Boise says, "Hey, we're gonna do a little bit of this ourselves." Yeah, and 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 I with you. I like the over, and I like Boise because I think Boise has a chance to win this game. Yeah. If you're giving me a head start here, yes, I'm a roll with Boise. I don't so, know that I get the better quarterback with Boise, even a third string. I mean, come on, man. <laughs> I don't know, man. They're off, I, Jacob they're Eason offensive. is still good. He just sometimes makes really boneheaded decisions. But Boise doesn't seem to do that. No, I agree because I don't think they give him the opportunity to. If if Harson tries to empty the playbook, then we could be in trouble. But he he could empty the playbook from a running, running perspective. perspective. Yeah. Oh, you can you can run a lot of gadget plays that don't put your quarterback in trouble at all. Yeah. I mean, other people could be throwing the football. Yeah, I agree. I agree. It could be interesting. Could be interesting. 